Hey guys, I just wanted to share with you, this is episode 100. We made it 100 episodes on this amazing podcast. Thank you all for so much, oh, so much thank yous for your support of this podcast and of me and all that we're going through and all that we're learning together. And I have amazing news that you are not going to want to miss. So listen in. Welcome to a Simplified and Fabulous Mom Life Podcast. I'm Jennifer McDaniel, pro organizer, capsule wardrobe stylist, and functional home designer. As a mom of four, I realize how quickly things get out of control and how important it is to prioritize how your home functions and how it makes you feel. So if you're ready to find solutions to the stressors in your home and make room for the things that are really important, listen in and let's get started. Okay, guys, here we are in episode 100. We made it. We made it. 100 episodes, just a little over a year, and we are here. We have over 30,000 downloads on the podcast, and we are ranking in consistently in so many different countries and like all over the world. It's incredible, and I'm so grateful to each and every one of you. So, today's episode, I'm going to share with you about our move. We're moving. I've been waiting all year, seriously, over a year to move. I wanted to move since 2020. (laughs) I've been wanting to move. So here we are. We are moving this weekend and it has been absolutely crazy. My daughter is in kindergarten and she threw up at school on Monday, um, came home asking for me to stop by and get her some chicken nuggets and fries and then wanted hot dogs and pizza. Clearly it wasn't a stomach bug. She was fine. That was the only time there was any issues. But when you have a yucky day at school like that, you need 24 hours at home. So I had to leave my client on Monday to go and pick her up from school and then left her at home with my teenager and just like had just such a crazy day, went back to my client, went back to pick up the other kids, came home, uh, took care of the house, didn't really get much done. And this is the week we're moving this weekend. We're moving tomorrow on Saturday. Um, and it has just been one thing after another. Well, my oldest decided that she didn't want to be at school on Tuesday either, uh, cause her sister was home yesterday. So she wants to be home too. So she told me her tummy hurt, needed me to pick her up. And so she, she was home two days as well. Just whatever. It's just, it is what it is. Just one thing after another. And then like all of the different chaotic things that happen when your kids are home and you are moving, stuff gets spilled. The dryer vent came disconnected, like the vent hose that the lint is supposed to go. I don't know what it's for, but anyways, I turned on the dryer yesterday morning before I headed over to a client's and lint blew all in my face. So I had to (laughs) pull the dryer out again and clean it and reattach the hose and all the things that had to happen. At least it was lint and not water. Like good grief. That would have been terrible, but I had to deal with that before then finally get myself cleaned up from the lint disaster and ready to go to my client's house and go downstairs and there's a clogged toilet with blueberries floating in the toilet. Like, why are there blueberries in the toilet? Who did this wastefulness? Like, what happened in here? So it was like, it looked like it was not um, from that morning. It was definitely in there a little while because some of the blueberries, it, it was blueberries. Like, it wasn't disgusting, disgusting, but it was blueberry disaster and it was just a mess. So I had to get that taken care of. My uh, son that's home, he was not, um, he didn't get the trash taken out that was on the floor. The dogs were, uh, you know, just like all these things. And it just was making me feel like I was going to lose my mind. All these different things that were just, oh, and the refrigerator is leaking. I'm not sure if it's because someone spilled some water in the bottom of it or if the ice maker is leaking into the refrigerator, but the, there's ice that froze onto the bottom of the refri- freezer door on the refrigerator and it didn't seal the refrigerator door properly. And then it started melting. And so it dripped all over the floor and I'm like, Oh my goodness, do we have a refrigerator leak too? <laughs> but I think it was just because there was something on the floor. I don't know. I'll check it again 
the you know throughout the week and weekend and just make sure that it's not actually leaking on the house like oh my goodness all of these different things that are just piling up on top of the things that we're already doing like I was I had a helper on Tuesday I had helpers a couple of weeks ago and then I don't have anybody until moving day so that's how it's been <laughs> just really crazy and kids and messes oh and the dog got upstairs and left dog hair and like lick prints all over my daughter's white comforter so I had to clean that that was in the wash and that was when I was starting and and the dryer decided to stop working or came apart and blew lint everywhere and made a mess and like all these things just piling up one after another but what I want to talk to you about today is having these things planned You're going to have to, as a mom, make time for messes in your life. You're going to have to make time for interruptions, phone calls, someone at the door, someone needs you for whatever reason. It's going to happen. It's going to be part of your life. It it always will be. Okay. So we have to make time for it. So what do you need to do to organize yourself during a move like I've done so that when these things are so interrupting, Um, that you can still get to your, you can still reach your goal. You can still reach your goal of being finished on time or close enough to finished on time and get the next thing done. So what I wanted to share with you is that we are going to be doing a awesome, awesome, I'm super excited about it. I'm going to be doing a tour of my home to show you how I organize a move in and all these different things. And I'm so excited to have you be a part of it, of all these things that I'm coming up with over this next year. And this has been such an amazing year for me. I've gotten so many incredible ideas of what I want to do and these business ideas and plans that I have for the podcast and for myself and my business. And I want to be such a help to so many people. And I'm just so grateful for you guys and all your support. And I'm so excited about this move and I can't wait to share with you how it's going. Um, if you guys would share this podcast, not this, not necessarily this episode, but share your favorite episode with someone and let them just share with them. If this episode or this podcast helps you, I would love for you to let other people know about it because it really does mean so much to me. Um, We're going to have some awesome contests coming up in the new year, and we're just going to be doing some really great things. I'm going to be offering some free virtual organizing. I'm going to be doing some really fun things in the Facebook group coming up, and I really am excited to have you guys be part of it. Thank you so much for being here for our 100 episodes. You guys, this is just incredible. And I, I am so honestly, I'm really proud of myself. This is not something that I ever planned on doing. This is not something I ever expected myself to do. And I'm just so grateful to have your support and your friendship through this. And I love you guys. And I hope you all have a most wonderful week. If you guys have anything that you want me to share about, or if you're curious how my move is going or anything, ask me some questions. Um, Come join me in the Facebook group and ask anything. All right. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. God bless. Bye. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Simplified and Fabulous Mom Life podcast. We would love to hear from you. Our podcast hotline for U.S. is 980-389-0399. You can share your tips and tricks, topic suggestions, ask questions, and let me know if we should answer any of these on the air. For other ways to connect, you can reach us at jmorganizingspaces.com. Thanks for listening to this episode. Did I say it right?